Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Eating Corner. We have Terror once again. I honestly don't know how to pronounce this or what he's even aiming for. Bidbido Fiu Fiu. This is uh, the game three of the first set between Zihi versus Terra. This is from the most recent week of Fighting Spirit. Actually, it might be it's the most recent matches, I believe, of Fighting Spirit. This is the semi, just so you guys are aware of where this sits in the bracket. This is the semi-final of the lower bracket. Because not only is Fighting Spirit seven bests of seven, it also is double elimination. So this is the lower bracket. On the opposite side, I believe there, I think it's DeWalt versus the expected matches on the winner's bracket finals of DeWalt uh, versus Bonnet. Bottom right hand corner, we have Zeke starting as the red Zerg, by the way. The map you guys already know, or you should already know. And this is, I wanted to start with this one just because I love Terror's TVZ. It's just very entertaining in my opinion. It looks like he's going to open up with another forward Rax. Let's see if he gets first. So it, let's see how this plays out with Zeke not having the Overlord Scout. Is he going to have the wherewithal to pull the drones early to deal with it? Because part of what was really challenging for any Zerg to deal with is Terror send out a double scout to make sure excuse me, to make sure that he had eyes on his opponent's base. And so it just looks like a normal SCV scout wandering around the base. And if you're not careful and you open up 12 hatch, which is pretty standard on four player maps, can be dangerous. And I think Zeke wisely after last match, gonna go ahead and send out an initial drone scout. Although he's going, looks like cross map position. First Marines being produced. Let's see if Terra can make a game of it. He didn't get the best results previously, and actually, so now scouting the middle, he's actually moving back to upper right. This time, actually, the drone actually might get some battle action here, finding that first marine. Drones versus marines aren't that, it's not as bad a fight as you think it would be. It's when marines start getting in larger numbers, and it looks like, yeah, Terror going ahead, or sorry, Zeke going ahead and trying to get a little bit of initial damage before pulling the scout back. Terror going ahead and backing out. Drones have been pulled already, so you got the three, four drones on the defense. Two Marines making their way down. Strength in numbers. This Overlord needs to be careful that it's not in a pickoff position. Second, the SUV regrouping. Five drones, sorry, six drones now on the front to go ahead and defend this natural expansion. Terra thinking better of it. He has cost a bit of mining time here with all of this. And he needs to be careful not to lose additional Marines. And keep in mind, because of that outward... And I'm wondering if this is just an upper right hand base spawn decision as well because of that exterior barracks problem. Three Marines now grouping up with the two SCVs. Zerglings in production. A bunker towards that upper end corner. Zeke looking just to cut off reinforcements and let his Zerglings do the attacking. The hatchery going to go ahead and absorb damage. Four Zerglings making their way down. This is going to be close. That bunker just about finished. The drones cycling in to get this around. The Zerglings going up, but Zeke allowing the bunker to finish in the delay of all of that timing. Now is he going to have enough to save this natural expansion? He's going to drop the creep colony, try to range that bunker. I believe there's some sort of range trick to go ahead or basically you can't target fire when you're inside the bunker, so they don't they don't attack the sunken colony until it spawned, and then it becomes kind of a nice combo attack. Kind of like the flash coming out the little window there. So it seems he can go ahead and save this hatchery that way. For a moment, it looked like he was thinking about a counterattack with the Zerglings he had. SCV looking to repair the Zerglings, grouping up to go for a surround. And now grouping up to go ahead and damage everything that's left. But that was a decent amount of delayed mining time, plus a lot of forced Zerglings. For just a bunker, two Marines in an SCV. Counterattack is incoming. Yeah, you can see that barracks being lifted off to go ahead and get that pile of Marines in protective custody. And there should be sufficient Marines to go ahead and box that out. So I think that was a decent amount of economic damage done. You can see the Zerglings again trying to poke, maybe find an edge where they can surround and pick off a stranded Marine. Try to keep an eye there. It's hard to tell with Zeke sometimes, though. Engineering Bay first into Academy build this time. We'll see how this plays with the recovery. Lair actually being more for the natural expansion to get some HP back up. 
make sure it doesn't end up it's kind of a nifty idea where it's like okay you've already taken damage so let's go ahead and add some hp with that layer upgrade quick plus one weapons to deal with potential ziki mutalisks and i'm again wanting to see whether because game one we saw tear very quickly fold into five kind of a five racks play and i'm accustomed to seeing that sort of thing against three hatch mutalisk which ziki did move into i don't know if there was the comp set there or not but i wonder if he's going to try to pull something similar right now it looks like he's going to produce the medics he's got sufficient marines where he might go ahead and go for that front door i wonder if he's even going to lift this off go lift off and go for a threat creep colony's already being dropped by ziki knowing that this is terror second extractor being grabbed at the 550 mark which suggests this might be a heavier investment in mutalisks in the mid game which yeah I feel like it might be needed. Comsat confirming the spire timing. Wow, that was pretty close to the spire, the precise moment of the spire being dropped. And he even sees it in the lower morphing stage, so he knows he caught it early. Three barracks being dropped behind this, so it looks like this is very similar to his previous build of this. So gonna drop the barracks. Three barracks at once, plus one weapons is gonna come online. Range is upgrading after stim. Three creep colonies on the front, which suggests to me that Zeki's going to try to go for a very heavy mutalisk investment. Upper left hand corner hatchery being grabbed. Kind of an odd location, but that means air control is going to be necessary. Some zerglings able to sneak through. Going to see all of the barracks. So getting some good scouting information at the very least. Zerglings again trying to test that front, but going ahead and getting pushed back. Three something colonies morphing, and that should be a decent latent defense. Fourth hatchery being dropped, however. Curious what this SCV is do doing to the north. Maybe it was... The Zerglings are hunting it. They want to go ahead and... Maybe wanting to deny location of that additional base. Mutalisks now being produced. I would not be shocked to see a plus one weapons upgrade once a flock of mutas is out there but right now terror going up to six barracks sorry that's five barracks the <laughs> barracks here floated back to the main i missed that overlord taking a bit of free damage along that turret line at least confirming turret location two drop to the corner but look at this yeah look at this five five barracks now running plus one weapons and a decent medic marine this is a great build order and i believe this is scouted so Marines making their way up to that corner. Does Zeki, the Mutalus, not going to respond in time? So I think this is going to be a lost hatchery. And I believe this might be enough reinforcements, to be honest. Just pumping out of that five barracks to deal with the, the Mutalisk threat. So this is going to force Zeki into three hatch Mutalisk play. So this hatchery, yeah, going to get wiped out. Zeki wasn't on top of it, keeping one, denying the scout, but two... Pecking off the Medic Marines in open field. He's going to scoot in with a lot of Mutalisk, but look at all these turrets here in place already. Which is going to allow this grouping of Marines with plus one weapons to move in. Range is also finished. So yeah, some turrets go down, but a Mutalisk getting wiped out already. Two additional weak and Terror pushing Ziki back. So Ziki now stuck at three bases. He's already invested in a bajillion sunken colonies. I think he was just hoping that upper right hand base wouldn't get scouted, which means it looks like this might be all in Mutalisk from here. And Terror already has a pretty solid jump start on plus one weapons, and he's got a solid supply lead. He's going to be able to get a supply depot down. See, he again trying to sneak. How did he get that drone out there? He's going to try to sneak that nine o'clock location and just try to keep Terror back and hope that he can get that third gas up. Kind of with a naked expansion here. The Marines grouped up along that corner edge. More Medic Marines grouping up. This is not a breachable location. Stimming forward regardless. Zerglings getting picked off. He'll be able to at least hold this location to, let, to prevent Zerglings from pushing through. But there's no way he's breaching this. So now the question is, is does this SCV that's out to the corner find that 9 o'clock base? And as I say that, it wanders immediately. Oh, did it not? It didn't went, It didn't go in. 
It's cycling back around. It's not yet going in. Oh, it's a tease. It looks like that factory. There finally moves in, scouts that nine o'clock base. I don't know that Zeke can defend it. Does he realize it's scouted is the next question. Plus one weapons just finishing. Hydralis Den being plopped down. But Zeke is in a situation where he needs to now worry about this attack force moving out to go ahead and put pressure on that nine o'clock base. And he needs to get economic damage done to slow Terra down. Look at Terra's economy. 42 workers already, 92 supply. And an STV already attacking that hatchery to let Zeke know where he's headed. It's like, yeah, your mutilists do need to back off. Yeah, you, you shouldn't feel comfortable engaging here. But look at this. You got more than a control group. Control group and a half of mutilists going to jump on top of this medic marine force to go ahead and wipe it out. Here comes the rest of the mutilists. Overwhelming force there. More medic marines taking the field, but we do have a science vessel out. So double science vessel shortly. Sorry, it's only a single starport. Another factory being dropped because that factory got taken out at the three clock location, stopping that second starport from being built, I believe. Is Irradiate there yet? Does not look like... Yes, Irradiate is there. Mules taking heavy damage. And these mules were going to be critical at this stage of the match. So it's these mutilisks to try to defend that nine o'clock base. Creep colony being dropped. Drones getting, a, I think they were misrallied, getting just absolutely splatted. Terra comps adding, moving up. Creep sunk colony not yet in position. Some zerglings trying to make their way across. Difficulty getting up the ramp though with those mutilisks on that edge. It looks like that sunk colony might finish. This is critical for Zeke. Sunk Colony finishes and Terror has to back out. Double Sunk Colony now and third gas is up and running for Zeke. He's sitting on four hatcheries and well shelled in. I would say this is crazy Zerg style, but we don't have the evolution chamber down. And honestly, this felt more like recovery situations from Zeke. Another science vessel out. I don't see an irradiate being dropped and it looks like that medic marine army gonna get wiped out so where terror was up in a ton of supply at various locations now is medic marines getting wiped out in open field Let's see if you can preserve these medics the marines pressing forward and ziki has managed to establish his fourth base or sorry third base and his third gas queen's nest is there hive tech on the way lurker is now taking the field I don't know that Terra has enough to really breach at any location. He's going to add a siege tank. That'll help. So I'll have the siege tanks and science vessels. Maybe something to get something done someplace. But he does need to slow Zeke's economy down now as he is inching towards Hive Tech. A lot of lurkers, Zerglings taking the field. Scourge getting wiped out before they were able to... I think that was a bit of Miss Micro there by Zeke. I think the Scourge just completely skipped that science vessel and ran into that Medic Marine Force. Zerglings pressing forward. Siege tanks making their way down. Science vessel preserving that irradiate for the Mutalisks if they approach. And Zeke just trying to slow this Siege Tank Medic Marine Army down until he can get Hive Tech up and get defilers, but it looks like Terra's moving a little bit too rapidly, but maybe overextended. Single irradiate dropped. But both, sorry, one of the siege tank taken out, more reinforcing. The tanks don't need to siege, actually, ooh, need to be careful, Terror. Zerglings drawing forward, able to get a surround, another siege tank wiped out. But now Terra gonna wipe out the rest of that Lurker line as well as the Mutalisks. The front door is only defended by Sutton Colonies at this stage. Hive Tech is up. The Defiler Mount halfway finished. More Siege Tanks making their way this direction to start peeling through the Sutton Colony line, at which point there will be overwhelming amounts of Medic Marines and the Hive is at the natural expansion. 
Irradiate dropped. Defy the mounts up. Consume upgrading. Siege tanks on the front. Irradiate's being dropped. If Ziki even gets defilers out, is he going to have enough units after the fact to stop this tide of units? Sunken Colony's continually taking damage. Zerglings running out with lurkers. Feels like a desperation attack. There's too many Marines there. They got... I think they're gonna have plus two weapons though momentarily. Lurkers coming from the north. And Ziki calling GG is not gonna have it in time. Terror with the pressure on the natural expansion. Able to pull out that win. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.